po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Pastor Bener Raymundo. Uh, una, I would like to appreciate yung bag, uh, itong God's Great, uh, God's Grand Story uh, mini presentation. Uh, I find it very strategic, ano, yung, yung pinaiksi siya. Kasi unang-una, ako na Old Testament teacher na for many years, uh, sa simula, I find it hard na ikat ito. Kasi may sa back of my mind, I'm thinking, all of the 77s are important. Parang meron kang panghihinayang na mamiss yung information na kailangan nilang malaman. But the way uh, Pastor uh, Hill presented it, pwede mo naman palang i-insert yung information without giving the steps yung 77. Ano? So, uh, ako, as a pastor, I find it hard to edit my sermon into into concise message. Parang feeling ko lagi, mahalaga to, mahalaga to, importante ito. Pero ngayon, sa presentation ni Pastor Hill, uh, meron talagang mga tao magaling mag-edit. Tapos pag pinresent, ganun din naman pala yung impact. Mas maganda pa nga kasi concise siya. Kaya uh, I, ako personally, I highly recommend yung ginawang shortening ng uh, 77 into 40 steps na lang. So, masarap ituro ito, Pastor Hill, kasi mas, ano eh, mas concise siya. Sa mga tao, mas madadalian sila. So, yun. I appreciate it po. Thank you. Uh, para sa akin din po, very encouraging. Kasi when uh, I first attended the uh, walk through the Old Testament, then we came back, and then we presented the 70, 77 storylines. Our members were amazed because we were able to present it under a time limit. But they also told me, Pastor, parang ang hirap na mampala niyan. Because it's 77 storylines with, uh, with action. So, parang just like what I said uh, a while ago, it seems to be very overwhelming, intimidating, and reserved for special people only who have sharp memory. So, you know, oftentimes members, they excuse themselves. We cannot memorize that so many lines anymore. As a matter of fact, that's what they say when you ask for memory verse or uh, scripture memory. But these 40 uh, lines uh, would be an encouragement to them that they can say, ah, that I can learn that I can memorize, and that I can recite, and I can pass it to others. So para sa, atin, sa akin din, sa akin, bilang teacher, parang it's a good news that I can say, you know, it's not reserved for some elite persons. Everybody can learn this. Uh, it's not too difficult. Kumbaga sa... Kumbaga sa level of uh, ano yun, difficulty, hindi, hindi ito to the max. Medyo nasa ano lang, middle lang. We can learn it and we can pass it on. So para sa akin yan. Well, yeah, I like this too. Ang daming mga adjustments that are really helpful. The only thing that stands out to me, and I don't know kung pwede adjust ito, the Samuel, because it's by columns now, if it's possible, Samuel could slide back into the third column because it fits time-wise. And also, if prophets could slide into the last column, but you have to de you'd have to delete something. But that's to me, it just seems more natural if it could be a, those could be adjusted. But I don't know. I have I've thought the the uh, walk through the OT even to high school students when I was working as a school chaplain. But anyway, what I appreciated about the 40, uh, 40 lines now is that, I mean, in, in public speaking, the more concise it is, the more effective. Yeah, you're, you're using the information that you believe that you need to share so that you can effectively communicate it very well. So very minimal. Mas minimal siya, mas, mas okay siya. So that's, that's a secret in, in public speaking. And I think moving towards uh, from 77 to uh, 40, uh, uh, 40 steps is better. 
And I'm excited how this can really uh, catch fire when we begin to teach it again. And I agree that all those uh, steps taken taken out, you can use them in the middle naman eh. So great job for the for Pastor Hill. Uh, I teach kids in the book, so our our actions are more animated than the regular walk through the Old Testament. But I think this one is very good for the children because we can still put in the more the animated uh, actions. Um, Siguro my my only suggestion would be that for the teachers, for the trainers and the teachers, they should also know the original 77 because it's important when they teach the 40 storylines. That's all. Siguro magiging uh, very interesting if we will teach tong 40 storylines rather than the 77. Ang nakita ko, why? Because uh, remember there are 39 books in the Old Testament. And the 39 books is the God's grand story plus Christ. Kaya naging 40. Um, actually, I'm just a new teacher. Uh, I recently joined the teacher teacher's training la, last October. And I conducted a seminar, uh, the 77 storylines, just recently in, our, in my home church. And uh, we cut, ano, um, parang series lang, hindi kasi ano, pinayagan na isang araw. So, ginawa yung parang series. So, I observed that um, it's good that ano, the story pinaiksi. At saka yung mga numbers, no, mga ganun. Kasi may mga matanda na, hindi na makakaganun. Eh, no? Tapos yung mga ganyan-ganyan, sayaw, sayaw na yun. Hindi na sila, hindi na sila gumagalaw. Eh. So, mas maganda yun, pinaiksi. At saka uh, parang convenient na para sa mga oldies. Of course, sa mga, mga ba, mas bata, pwede rin yung mas magaling 77. No, para sa akin, depende sa audience no, na tinuturuan mo. Ganun yun. Thank you, Pa. Uh, unlike many of you who have been to Bible school and uh, are pastors, I'm uh, in, in the marketplace and I do training. I, when I was doing the, this morning, I just realized how concise and sequential it is. I've never viewed the Old Testament that way, although I've read the Bible maybe once or twice in my life, the whole Bible. Yung, yung sequence now helps me put together the Old Testament and the story up to uh, Jesus Christ. So if I'm talking to an unbeliever, or yeah, an unbeliever and somebody asks me, ano ba yung sabi ng Bible? Ano ba yung Old Testament? This kind of sequence helps me a lot. I'm not familiar with the 77, but just given this this morning, I appreciate the gestures. Yung gestures, yung hand signals helps me put the sequence together. And you know, it's, it's so concise that it can be used even for unbelievers, which I think is, is uh, why we're here. And not just to fellowship with believers, but to make sure that the gospel is also heard by unbelievers. So, in my point of view, it's, it's, uh, it's a very good tool that can be used not only in church, but also in the marketplace. Sige. Actually, I've heard OT training back in ISOT pa, nung Kaliraya venue pa. And I've been avoiding this kasi back, back in those days, before you join walkthrough, ito muna yung entry level mo. So that's why I kept on ano, avoiding it. Particularly dahil nga sa madaming too much gesture for me kasi ayoko talaga ng ganun-ganun. But uh, surprisingly, it only took Pastor Hill ano, about more than a little over two hours, I think, uh, to teach this uh, material. Plus, shorter. Talagang really shorter. No? Uh, I only have the problem of memorizing the each pillar or column, the details of each column. Pero more or less, na, uh, I've been anticipating yung next gesture and everything. No? Then I was asking Pastor Bener, kasi siya yung nasa... Old Covenant ng OT. <laughs> Just kidding. Yung, pastor, yung uh, Israel scattered, and then Judah exiled, and then returned. No? I was asking him if the gesture would be this high for 
uh, Israel ba dito? Israel and then Judah. Judah is up now. I was I was ano, uh, supposed to recommend to him na I think it's better no, geographically uh, if Israel would be up high then scatter and then Judah is a bit low kasi southern and then uh, exiled. So yeah, geographically so that we can introduce to the ano, participants yung ano proper position niya geographically. Yeah. Just ano lang a little lower compared to the old ano, gesture position. Yeah. Um, I would just like to say that I approve both the old and the new versions. Eh. Because, uh, well, first of all, the old one, it's, it's very suitable for long-time Christians, like, um, in terms of its depth. So, ano, approve ako pa rin dun sa ano. I'm still approving on the 77 original. At the same time, uh, the benefits for the 40th, I noticed that 99% of the 40 storylines, ano, it's very, it's very friendly to beginners, especially to unbelievers, to soon-to-be Christians. Kasi, excluding Zerubbabel, everyone else is recognizable, actually. And ano, pero yes, um, yung in terms of flow, there is no obvious break compared to the original. So um, uh, with some just fine tuning in the actions, um, everything else is actually pretty good already for the new version. So sure. that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. APL from the point of view of APL, naman. So. Going back to my own story, I've been telling stories of the Bible since I was like 12 years old. And I was able to share the gospel because of this story. And I have sh shared the stories even to my nieces who are ages 6 and 8, which is why they truly love the Lord. So I think in schools, because I have my own training center right now, what I do is, what I can do is, during breaks for me, of course, this is, this is my own personal, you know, um, application of of OT. I took this in 2006 in Tagaytay. I think the best way to teach is because I'm a world, I'm a workplace missionary also, is to share this story during break times. I don't know if you are doing this because I build relationship with my students because we mentor for life. Whenever they have a story to say, I always get in with a story in the Bible because there's nothing new nothing nothing that happening on earth is new the story in the Bible is the same story we are experiencing nowadays like what pastor has said earlier that really caught my attention he said something like this there's an idol the idol doesn't represent only things material possessions these are the things inside our hearts so some of my students would come up to me and tell me their problem here and there. And that's the focal point, pivotal point where I get to share Jesus. I tell a story and I share Jesus, which is why at Pace Letters, all of our students, if they're non-Christians, on day one, because I interviewed them, they pray to receive Jesus Christ in their hearts. So I think that's how we could integrate this OT in, in a workplace and in different schools where we're teaching. It's really listening to students, listening to their stories, and then incorporate this story. You know what? Perhaps when you're doing a conversation with them, perhaps you would say, you know what? The same thing, the same story happened back many years ago. And would you mind if I shared to you this story? And they would listen, and then right then and there, you can share the gospel. That's my point of view.